Hi there, this is Eric and I'm going to show you one of the quickest ways you can get ads up and running with AdButler. So we've just logged into our new account and the first thing you'll see is your dashboard. On the left side of the screen we have the main control panel. This is where you'll find all the tools in AdButler. We're going to click on Publishers and add the website that our ads are going to be shown on. We happen to have a publisher named Joe and he runs a coffee blog. Click on Add New. The name of Joe's site is Joe's Coffee Grind. So we'll type that in, click on Save. Now we see Joe's Coffee Grind in our list. Let's click on that now, and we can set up zones that our ads will display in. Each zone we create represents a placement for our ads on Joe's site. If we click on Add New, we see there are four different zone types we can choose from. Banner zones, text ad zones, vast ad zones, and email ad zones. Since the banner we want to show on Joe's site is a basic image banner, we're going to create a banner zone. The spot we're advertising on is on Joe's homepage and it's a leaderboard space. Below this, we'll define the size of the zone. In our dropdown, we can choose from a list of the most common types of industry banner size. We're looking for the 728 by 90 leaderboard banner. We'll select that. Alternately, if you're running a custom size banner, you can enter your own dimensions to the right of the dropdown. Keep in mind that when you put in your own dimensions, it'll override anything you've selected in the dropdown. But we'll leave that blank and go with the preset leaderboard dimensions. Click Create, and now we see our new zone show up in our zone list on Joe's Coffee Grind. You can see it show up in the toolbar as well if we expand our publisher list. Now that we have Joe's Coffee Grind set up an ad butler and ready to receive ads, we can jump over to Advertisers and upload the ads that we want to run on Joe's site. We'll click on Add New and create our advertiser. There's a great little company called The Beanery who's hoping to break into the craft coffee market and they think running some ads on Joe's site is going to get them some traffic. If we want, we can create an optional user login for The Beanery, which would allow them to log in and view their stats while their campaign is running. You just need to enter an email and password and set their account permissions. This can be done for either advertisers or publishers. But for now, we'll take care of The Beanery's advertiser for them, so I'll uncheck it, click Save, now see the Beanery shows up in our advertiser list. Clicking on that, we see the available campaigns we can create for this advertiser. We can create a banner campaign, a text campaign, or a vast video campaign. We created a banner zone on Joe's site, so we'll be creating a banner campaign here. The ad zone and the banner campaign have to match, so before I name this campaign, I want to make sure the banner is set to the same dimensions as our publisher zone as well. So I'm going to set this to a leaderboard and then give it a name. The Beanery is running a half-off promo campaign for all new customers. Again, I like to use some descriptive words in the name to help me remember what each ad zone is, so I'll add leaderboard to the end of this banner name. Click on Save and now we see our ad show up in the Beanery's campaign list under Banner Campaigns. These also show up in our left-hand control panel. Clicking on our new banner campaign, we can see that we have two options. We can add new banners to this campaign and we can assign this campaign to a zone. We need to upload our banner creative before we can assign it to serve, so we'll click on Add New under Banners. So here we see all the types of banners we can upload. There's image banners, flash banners if you're still into that kind of thing, and HTML5 banners. And if you're dealing with an outside advertiser who uses their own ad server, you can also enter their own custom third-party tags. Like I said before, this is going to be a basic image banner, so go ahead and click on Image Banner. We'll give this banner a name. I'll call it Half Off Sale Leaderboard Banner. We add the destination URL, which is the location our customers will be directed to when they click on the ad. Next, we'll add the creative. If you want, you can host your ads on your own server and add an image URL, but we're going to use AdButler's CDN to host our creative assets. It's super easy to use. We'll just click Browse and upload the banner directly into AdButler. We can add some alternate text to the banner for some added accessibility, then click Save. Now we can assign this ad to the zone we just created and start serving it. This page shows you all the different pacing and delivery options for our ad, but that's a whole guide in itself. So we'll just run with the default settings for now and click Save. Now we see our banner is assigned to run on Joe's homepage leaderboard zone. 
If we click back over to our publishers, we can see that under the campaign section, we now have our half off sale leaderboard banner assigned and it's currently set to active. We can preview that to make sure we've got everything lined up properly. And yep, there's our ad. So the final step is to get the HTML zone tag to give to Joe so he can place it on the site where we've agreed the ad will be placed. I'll just click on get zone tags and select the code, copy it and send it over to Joe. I can also put in Joe's email right here and have it delivered directly to him via email. Once Joe has placed our tag on his website, the Beanery will now be serving advertisements. Every click on the banner will be tracked and logged into our database, which we can then create reports from and use for invoicing. And there you have it, the simplest way to get an ad serving online with AdButler. You create publishers, define the zones they have available on their website, then create your advertisers and upload the banners they want to run and assign them to the corresponding zone. Getting ads to serve is as easy as sending the final zone tag to your publisher. Now that being said, AdButler's capabilities don't stop there. It's incredibly flexible with built-in support for all types of ad formats, including native advertising, an Android and iOS mobile SDK for in-app ad serving. Create as many user accounts as you need to let your clients access and view their stats in real time, or let your development team dive into our API to create a fully customized ad serving solution that is tailored to fit your needs. We encourage you to explore our help center and YouTube channel for more tips and ideas, or get in touch with our helpful support staff and we'll get you serving like a pro in no time.